Now this is a rivalry worth getting excited about. Scotland versus England. It is day two of the under 18s men's Six Nations Festival. Both teams coming in off the back of victories as well. Scotland really impressive on the opening day against Georgia. England having to go all the way with Wales and winning it late, 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 late. 36-35 in the game of the tournament so far. Will this one top it? Of course, the nature of this competition, 
both teams have really shuffled the pack for this but it's the saltire versus the saint george's cross it is scotland versus england moments away but first the anthems <laughs> The flower of Scotland and God save the King. The perfect precursor to two very exciting young groups of players. Ross Miller shuffled the pack. We're going to have a look at everyone in his talented squad. A few keep their places, though. Christian Lindsay, Rory Purvis, Joe Roberts and Ollie Blythe Lafferty in the pack. And then in the back line, Hamish MacArthur, Ross Wolfledon and try scorer Nairn Moncrief. Campbell War as well. So we have a look at Harry Proven, Jamie Thompson, Alex Bryden, William Pierce came off the bench. He gets the start at loose head. Mac Rutherford and Sam Bird too. Jonathan Pendlebury. He's got Miller, Knowles, and Streeter in the front row. Patrick Hogg captains from the blind side flank with Seb Kelly and Ollie Alport. In between those six are Williams and Ainsworth Cave. Lucas Friday, the exciting young Quinn scrum half is inside Linegar, who is at standoff. With Heat, Newton and Pearson in the back three. Bateman Champagne and Fraser Rawlings making his debut at outside centre. 26-man squads in total. Both coaches taking the opportunity to name a very, very busy bench, many of whom will be getting game time today. Speaking of game time, two 35-minute halves in this under 18s. Three games in just over a week. Big challenge for a lot of these players. Most of whom have got contracts with professional clubs to go into the senior academies in Scotland and England. A couple of the Scotland players actually contracted in England. Julien Collier of France, the man in charge. Game two of four today on match day two of the under 18s. Six nations. Scotland with one victory. England with one victory. Who'll remain undefeated after two? Scotland in the blue. England in all white. Some nice high hands from Christian Lindsay of Loretto and Edinburgh rugby to get us underway. Oh, it was out and it was closed down by Seb Kelly. 
And a little knock on in there as well. Seth Kelly, starting to sail Sharks. Brother, and Dan Kelly, Captain England International, whose former team, Loughborough Students, have got a Buck Super Rugby semi final later against Hartbury. Lots of rugby happening all across the age groups. Juniors all the way through to seniors, men's and women's. Okay. This time of year. It's Lucas Friday with his back to us next to Hamish MacArthur. Edinburgh and Harlequins, respectively. Sit! Stay, stay, Lane! Ollie Alport. Now Friday. And England on the march early on. Nice from Linegar. Alex Bryden brings him down, and Scotland forced the turnover. Excellent work over the ball. The unmistakable Barnet of Harrison Wood. He's easy to spot when he's doing things right and when he's doing things wrong. We don't know a lot about young men's barbering choices, but that looks like a perm. Scotland a mistouch. England unexpectedly getting the ball back, and James Linegar with a good carry. Really good intent about this England play. Finn Newton, Saracen's winger. But England tackling off the ball, so two. Number two. Penalties already conceded by England. Good old fashioned goatee beard on George Knowles. Challenging his inner David Brent. Scotland a bit more conservative with the touch finder this time. It was a clear out from Please. George Knowles, wasn't it? Yeah. That he was penalised for. Wait, 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 wait. Please, no. MacArthur. The Rory Purvis, Dollar Academy. Glasgow Academy as well. Bryden. Another Finish. of the Glasgow players. Seb Kelly making the tackle, three minutes gone, still nil-nil, lovely flat ball for Harrison Wood to explode onto, he got a good offload away, but Felix Bateman Champagne looks for the early 50-22, doesn't get the bounce, and Harry Proven's back there, this game being played at a frantic pace, and Proven, tackled by Friday, crept round the flank there, the England scrum half, Hamish MacArthur, oh, lovely touch by Bateman Champagne, what? Stop, Zay! Stop! Julian Collier. Sounding a little bit more like one of the under 18s. Stop, Jackie. Oh, Jackie. that's gone out on the full, isn't it? That's an error. And England gifted please, please. some field position nice. four minutes in. Who is also nice? It's finished, okay? Oh, thank you. Now, please. Look at that, mate, and champagne. Lovely touch. George Knowles, then. Okay, good. Okay, get low. Okay. Big opportunity here then for England and Ollie Streeter. Yeah. 
And in England over for the game's opening try. Well, that was from short range. Take out, okay? Yeah. Stay, uh, Stay out. Back. Not scared to, to put the hands on it there. So often we see teams just picking and going, but England backing themselves all the way to seven points. Another look at this on the replay then. Scotland's committing a lot of bodies there. Left or Lucas Friday. Okay. Okay, thank you. And then Seb Kelly round the corner. England with the first try. Stop! Stop, Mark! Stop! Okay. Go away, please. Please. Stay here. Quickly, on the line, please. On the line. Same off. Same off. Please, quickly. Immediately on the line. Okay. Well, and England intercept and interrupt that line out ball. And they've seen a lot of ball in these opening seven minutes, aren't they, England? And handling it really well now with it. Thank you. Please, please, please. Please, it's finished, okay? Go away. Thank you. Bundled into touch. Line. Okay. Again, attacking the game line through big men. It was helped on by the try scorer, Seb Kelly. Good shot by Scotland. Campbell War winning that collision. So Friday goes cross field looking for the corner, finding the corner. Lovely kick by Lucas Friday. Oh, there's our Piper. Always nice to hear the pipes. As that's cleared well up the channel by Hamish MacArthur. Merkiston Castle. Plenty of Scotland scrum halves have gone there over the years. Scott Steele being one of them. Covering from an operation. Spent a lot of his time playing in England as London Irish Premiership winner with Harlequins. Now back north of the border. Speaking of Harlequins, that's Lucas Friday. Now Pearson finds Finn Newton. Finn Newton chases his own kick. Finn Newton off. George Pearson has touched it down, but it had gone forward off Finn Newton. Who was one fumble balled away from a worldie. Oh, this was so close to being sensational. It's a lovely chip to get him around Harry Proven. Please. Oh, he got the bounce. Keep your breath for okay? And you're okay? Yeah, Keep your George breath Pearson did the right thing. Uh, thank you. But referee Julien Collier uh, brings play to a close. Yeah, Ten minutes in, okay? with Scotland nil, England seven. Clutch! Bang! 
Break foot. Break foot. No break foot from George Knowles. Okay, play on. Oh, Scotland have rushed the clearance. And they're inviting more pressure. No, I tell you what, bringing your dog to the rugby, that's the way, isn't it? I wonder if he brought him on a flight or drove him out. Either way, good crowd building up here for game number two. That's overthrown, but finds its way to Ollie Streeter. Bates. England again. Penalty advantage for the high tackle. Try not to need to use that advantage because they're getting quick ball speed here. And Friday finds Ainsworth K back inside. And Finn Newton is off his wing and over the try line. That really is delightful from England. First of all, Lucas Friday. Then Aidan Ainsworth K. The Bedford Blue. Rampaging onto the ball, but he's not going to get there. Needs someone to arrive. Who's there? Finn Newton, the young Saracen. There you go. Just great awareness of where the tacklers are, where your support is. Scrum half, second row winger. No, no, no. And England going at a point a minute. Linegar. Easy as you like. Try and conversion eh. for England. Is it same for you? Oh. Is it same for you? Scotland, <laughs> zero. England, okay, okay. 14. Okay. What? Over here. Okay. Okay. England super clinical, aren't they? Not the force, okay? And now with this kind of confidence, they'll want to run it from inside their own 22. Back, Tackle back. on George Pearson. Helped on its way. Yeah. Oh, lead him with the elbow. That's a cheap penalty to give away. Number two, help or help. Separation between the arm and the body, the forearm. Well, Scotland then with a bit of territory for the first okay. time. What can this forward pack do with it? Joe Roberts tucks himself in. There are big English hands on him. It's spilt out the side and it's bounced on by Patrick Hogg. Rawlings, nice from Rawlings. Oh. Tried to open the cat flap there, and Finn Newton would have been all over it. Back, back, back. Again, Lucas Friday opts for the boots. And he sits up. He has kicked that really well, hasn't he? Lucas Friday looks to have a good, sharp kicking game, good decision maker. There's Fraser Rawlings. Okay. Time off. Time off. Time off. Wait. Well, that's Nairn Moncrief. Down for Scotland. Try scorer in the opening victory against Georgia. Scotland looked really impressive in that victory too. 
Georgia play Look later today on. against France, and then okay, it's okay, Ireland okay. versus Italy to finish the day off. Want to continue, isn't he? Hasn't really had a chance to stretch his legs yet. Okay. Yeah, and he'll run that off. Lorenzo, Lorenzo, stop, stop, please. Okay. But England find themselves okay. back okay. on the brink. Great field position. Stay and okay. George Knowles. Oh, it's overthrown. Hogg was the target. Wood. Oh, Scotland's getting around the outside. Now the kick needs to be good. Proven into the 22. Wanted it to bounce. Finn Newton's back there. Go oh, on, here we go. England looking to charge at the other end. Now the dummy. Superb. The inside ball. Even better. Come Friday. Uses all of his kilos. Stop, stop. There's space in behind for the 50-22. Doesn't get the bounce, and Hamish MacArthur can calm things down. Stop, no. Stop. Okay. That was Linegar back there. George Pearson. He wants a 50-22. Stop, bro. Near Moncrief. Patrick Hogg's not going to let him go easily. It's good, it's good, Mike. MacArthur coming up to the halfway point of the first half. Oli Blythe Lafferty. England all over it. It's a good turnover. Good, and now Linegar. Just putting them back into the corner. There. Yeah, at that way. Okay, then. Wait, wait, please, come back. Big chance now for the big men to do some damage. Knowles, better line out ball. Where is it? Oh, they're not having it with the line out, are they, England? And this, pretty tough. They keep blowing. Great field position. Great field position. Good catch in the crowd. No prizes for that, just our eternal respect. Please, please, no. This England ball again, 19 minutes gone. George Knowles. On the books with Leicester Tigers. Oh, has he pumped that? Either way, not great ball, but it's worked out for Patrick Hogg, who knocked that backwards somehow near Moncrief, offloading in his own 22. Release, release, no. Finish, finish. No. It is England v Scotland after all. Oh, there's a couple of boys still in the middle. Everyone else just like penguins huddling for warmth. Okay, I say. Captain, please. Captain. After my decision, it's finished, okay? Yeah. Number nine, coach your player, so 10 meters more. Thank you. Nine. Number nine. 
Patrick Hogg was the man in the middle of it all, but Lucas Friday is the one who's marched back another 10 meters. And eventually, we'll have a bit more rugby. It's a good kick as well. Scotland, 30 meters out. Line up not been particularly fluid for either team yet. Joe Roberts. On his tiptoes, finds Christian Lindsay. Where's he come from? Another chance for Scotland then. Good, good. Solid scrum, but oh. Hamish MacArthur. No, 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 head. No head. Can't gather. The, the body, the body here. No, no. Proper battle for this ball. Okay. Oh, it's legal. It's legal. It's unplayable, and the referee no, no. deciding. Scrum. Scotland will have the foot in no, at the no, scrub. No. The England defending rude. this well. Really well, in fact. Just preventing Scotland from getting any kind of momentum, any kind of phase play. Struggling to get the ball away from the scrum or the line out. In it comes from MacArthur now. Harrison Wood, we're in seven, but he's packing down at eight. He's swapped with Rory Purvis. Oh, and out the back, England trying to get in the passing channels. The offload is away, and the pace is released. Harry Proven into the 22. Finn Newton off his wing. He has been excellent, hasn't he? Finn Newton defensively. And he's got the try for England too. Good line speed by England and good, good, good. loose from Scotland. They brought on Sam Lewani onto that left wing to replace Nairn Moncrief yeah, okay. who had that early injury. Okay. England have just found a way of stressing the Scottish Thursday. offense, haven't Come they? On. overthrown line out ends up in Scottish hands Joe Roberts no, you move back. penalty advantage Sam Bird yes, yes. Really? Yes, coach. Come back to the and offside okay oh, please options options captain 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 please Please, please. If you want high tackle or offside? Uh, offside, offside. Offside, yes. <laughs> the okay. option was the corner, but that wasn't uh, the option okay. that Julien Collier was giving him. Number six. Scotland in to the England 22 again. We're approaching the last 10 minutes.
Skit, skit. Skit, håll i ju. Håll i ju. Det är så. 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 Det of the offence that Scotland are committing. Please! Last time! Joe Roberts. Better line up all this okay. time. Christian Lindsay, the target. And Wolfenden can start to try and make something happen. Oh. Big Biff in midfield, Alex Bryden. Again, the line speed so good by England. And Sam Lewani can't get away. Inside ball, Joe Roberts, the captain. He's driven backwards. Scotland struggling to win collisions. So Hamish MacArthur slightly overcooks that. And the mark can be called. England, 14-0 up, 26 minutes gone, no need to rush anything. Please, back, white. Okay, it's okay for you. Thank you. Okay. The line starting to run a bit better for Scotland. It's good for you, Brad. Thank you. Again, look at this line speed by England. Trapping Scotland behind the gain line. Excellent work, yeah. Ainsworth Cape, and then Scotland knock it on. But that all comes from the work in defence by England. Even the boys not making tackles. Scotland want to attack from deep. England totally stifling them. Awesome work by the men in white. And now it's England, having done all that defending, trapping Scotland in the middle third, has some attacking ball of their own, at the short side goes Lucas Friday, Newton again chasing his own kick, Friday gets a second touch, knock on advantage, and that's the difference between the teams at the moment. England just thinking about where they're playing their rugby. So Lucas Friday finds Newton. Newton runs out of space, so drops it in behind. Friday able to get a second touch. Scotland struggling to cope. So this game two of today. Still two more games to come after this. Georgia. Taking on France. And then Italy versus Ireland. Last step. Okay. Okay. Simon. Lock on blue. Turn white. This is a phenomenal opportunity now for England. James Whippet on his way to the left to hold his width, but look at the attacking options. Fraser Rawlins, George Pearson, James Linegar with his pick of the bunch. 
Felix Bateman champagne available too. Oh, and they go short, they go direct. Oh, and it's knocked on by Finn Newton. Well, he's shaking his head. But it certainly went forward. Let's see if it touched the ground first. We've got the benefit of the replay. It's a great line, short ball. Oh, yeah, he's been hard done by there, Finn Newton. He has been hard done by there. Thank you. Wow. You, you, it's okay. You, it's okay. Yeah, the ball definitely went forward, but with the benefit of that replay, the try should have stood. Unlucky young man. The score remains. Scotland nil, England 14. 31 of the 35 minutes gone in the first half. Just a reminder, our clock not linked in with the referee's watch, so could be a little bit either side. Bryden runs in high, England tackle higher. Scotland supporters finding their voice. They love to find some points before the break. In the previous game, Portugal versus Wales. Portugal trailed at the break. But decided to go off the tee, get some points on the board to cut the gap. That was 14-10 anything for Scotland now incredibly helpful they've just struggled with England's defensive intensity so look at that group to the right there you've got the six players okay. all ready to rush up and here they come <laughs> Seb Kelly making that first tackle stop, Scotland stop. almost back where they started decent kick decent chase Jamie Thompson chopping George Pearson now Friday, Patrick Hogg. Finish, Blue. Finish. Finish. Hey, hey, finish. Good. Stay calm, please. Use it. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Okay. Taken well by Proven. And in England. No, yeah, you should reach me, okay? Asking for sealing off. Referee said it was still playable. Wanting to run from deep, but there's just no way through this England defence. They have been airtight in this first half, and Ollie Alport and Elliot Williams make sure they remain that way. Christian Lindsay being at scrum half, and William Pierce trying desperately to make some metres. Stop, stop, stop! Hack clear by Wolfenden. Can't put that out on the full, so just invites England to come back on again. Wait, back. Which they will do. And that one sliced off the boot, out on the full. And for the first time today, Scotland win a kicking battle. Okay. See ya, okay, see ya. And Straight in and off the top from Roberts. Now go MacArthur. Go Frustrating for Scotland. Rory Purvis. Offside. Oh, okay. Play and referee, okay? Thank you. The last few minutes, a little bit scrappy. Coming up to 35. Who's that down there? Is that Ainsworth Cave? Receiving some medical attention. Let's go, let's go. No, no, let's go. As Linegar finds a decent touch. Scotland again. Failing to take advantage of a really good field position. Silly penalty gifts it back to England. Our clock goes red. There'll still be a little bit of time on it. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Okay. 
So Aiden Ainsworth Cave coming off. He has got a big frame for an under 18, the isn't he? Goodness me. Made to play in the engine room. Okay, wait. Please, please, water, water. Thank you. Yeah, so the goatee, it's either David Brent or the, the last time. like he's the rhythm guitarist in a sort of mid naughty ska band. Yes. Yes. White, Embrace white. the chin no, here, white, young white, man. Better, uh, okay, white, white, white. Fifty station is okay. That was Connor Tracy coming on, wasn't it? He's good. He's okay. Bath beaching okay, cliff. The well-trodden pathway. Oh, this time it's England who failed to take advantage of the good field position. Just slowed down, isn't it? There's been no real rhythm to these last five or six okay. minutes. But half time coming up, the chance to rest and reset. Apologies uh, if anyone's offended by the language that was picked up there by the referee's mic. Bang! Set! Hamish MacArthur decides that a half-time break is the best thing for Scotland. Seb Kelly the got the scoring Russell underway. Scotland. James Linegar converted. Vin England. Newton got the second after some lovely link-up play. Started by a Lucas Friday jink. That too was converted. Scotland struggled a little bit with game line. But only two scores down. The first couple of minutes of the second half are going to be key to the overall shape of this game. But that man has got five points to his name. They jog to the sheds here in Palmer. Scotland trailing England by 14 points to nil.
Out we come then for the second half. Welcomed by the numbers here in the crowd. And a warm welcome to all of you watching wherever you are around the world. The Lone Piper continues piping. It's got my chemical romance to compete with. Hey, but don't we all? It's Scotland nil, England 14. England, good for their lead as well. Perhaps not as clinical as they could be, and that is an accusation that could be levelled at both teams. Captain Patrick Hogg, the Newcastle Falcon, has been abrasive. Him and Sam Bird, one of the players who plays his rugby south of the border, actually, rugby school and Leicester Tigers. They have had a good head-to-head. -head. But Scotland needs some points. Kick-off practice for Hamish MacArthur. Our French referee, Julien Collier, has not been given the thumbs up yet. <laughs> it's okay for us. Go on, Julien. Let the boys play. Okay. Captain? Okay, Captain. Second half underway. Hamish MacArthur sends it skyward. Hog underneath it takes that really well. Yeah, Athletic catch. And there's the pipe. No PA system to contend with now. Just Fraser Rawlings and George Pearson trying to penetrate the defence. Nice little tips from England trying to change the points of attack. Oh, that's so good from Friday and Rawlings. But knocked on, oh, and did. Pierce pounces on it. And we'll have the first set scrum. Scrum blue. He's very good. But I wonder if he knows more than one song. No real advantage for either team in the scrum at the start of this game. Set! I say that. And win the penalty before the ball has even got in. Lucas Friday wants to play, but Lineker runs into Bryden. All of a sudden, that's not looking like a particularly good idea. One change for England. No, no, that's no, Connor no. Tracy, who came on for Aidan Ainsworth Cave at the end of the half. Knowles. Ooh, that looks high. Jamie Thompson up around the head. Okay. Just, just penalty, okay? Number? Okay, just. Please. The tackle legislation that means players have to tackle below the sternum is the law in the under 18 Six Nations Festival. Quite a few players in both the men's and women's competition have fallen foul of that. Okay. George Knowles had a mixed bag in terms of lineouts in the first half, did England? That wasn't straight either. See Patrick Hogg reaching for it. You play, I'm referee, okay? I'm referee, not you. Okay. Option? William Pierce being reminded by Julian Collier. Huh? Exactly who's in charge. Injing, sorry. Injing. Okay. One 
in five blue substitution. So William Pierce and Mac Rutherford being replaced by Oliver McKee. And Dan Halkin. Dan Halkin plays at the uh, Midlands Rugby Academy. Again, apologies if you're offended by the language coming from the man to the young England forwards. Wait, hold it, hold it. Seconds, okay. seconds. Grutch! Mine! Yes, Set! In two, three, squeeze! Oh. In it comes from MacArthur. Is that play? Number seven, go away, please. Go away, please. Thank you. Don't touch the ball after my decision. Well, well kept in. Good hands for Newton. Finish. And then Pearson, carefully doesn't get turned over, Sam Lavani was there. Elliot Williams, big straighten up from the engine room forward. Linegar. Batted back, but then hacked forward. And now with heat, oh, knocks that on. Knock on in the head. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go, Gay. Stay in here, okay? Stay in here. One minute. Seconds. Grips. Stretch. Bind! Watch the trees. Set! <laughs> Scotland after a better platform. Something from. They're inside their own 22. Decent ball. Doesn't quite get Luani on the edge though. He has to come back inside. But meters made. Not quite up to the ten. Oh, that's knocked on. Turnover ball. Ollie Alport's on it. Good fend. Gets away from Christian Lindsay. Oh, Tracy was in a scrum half. Oh, 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 Christian Lindsay. Good shot. Seven minutes of the second half gone. No points yet. If we get any closer. To the medical staff, I think we might have to call this one to a close. Yeah. No, no, stop, stop. It's dangerous. Dolly Streeter down. Harlequin's Gordon School tight head. Ten blue, ten blue. Substitution. Ten blue, substitution. Ross Wolfenden being taken off for Scotland. Really had much opportunity to impose himself on the game. Two white, two white. So a lot of these England under 18s involved with the Premiership teams up to under 18s. That's when they make the decision to whether or not they're staying on for the senior academy, take them into their early 20s. Right, you. Okay. Unlikely that a lot of them will represent the premiership team in that time, but right. go out right. on loan. So, for example, Harlequins, where Ollie Streeter Same is, month. they sent 
a lot of their players to London Scottish. They've got a partnership with the championship club sometimes to Worthing or to Richmond. Yes. Saracens send a lot of their players to Ampt Hill in the championship. And Bedford Blues are the beneficiaries of a lot of young Northampton Saints boys. Seconds. Much wanted Henry Pollock has been at Memphis Blues. A great tournament for England in the under 20 Six Nations. It's not been announced yet, but imagine that man on the ball now, Lucas Friday, will be getting kept off. It's been exceptional for Trinity School. Scotland with a penalty at scrum time. White collapse, scrum. Important penalty as well. So Adam to get into the England half. They spent plenty of time there, but haven't really been able to build anything. England have been on top defensively. Three, three. Wait, three. Okay. Wait, wait, Peter. Off the top it goes then. Chance for Scotland. Okay, finish. Nice carry by Oliver McKee. And a penalty advantage. Much better by Scotland. Much more. Invention about that, it's much nice. more dynamic. Hey. Okay. And they're going to go for the points. Very important to get that zero off the board. Really important too. To take advantage of the field position, something they weren't able to do in the first half. Be Hamish MacArthur to open the scoring for Scotland. We're in front of the posts. First points of the second half. Go Scotland's way. Scotland. Hamish MacArthur gets them on the board. Excellent work. Won the penalty at scrum time. Worked their way down the pitch. England tiptoed offside. But now need to get a good exit. Linegar. Ooh, out on the full. Option. Captain, option. Well, they'll take the scrum, surely. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. Hands line, okay. It's a bit, it's a bit shitty here. Yeah, yeah. You, if you want, we can, okay. <laughs> Not the choice of words that I'd have used to address the referee there. Again, apologies if that kind of language offends you. Distance is okay for you? I'm sure it's said with the best of intentions. And the Scottish forwards finding ways to get over the language barrier. So, can Scotland take advantage of this little bit of ascendancy they've got? Oh, look at that squeeze coming on by the England pack. Angered by conceding the penalty at the last scrum. The front row have turned it right on. Sam Graham, the Newcastle Falcons tight head, has come on for Ollie Streeter. And has caused pain for Scotland. Okay, finish. Let's go. Number. 
That's a funny game, isn't it? <laughs> Linegar from making the error with the restart then. He's able to amend that error off the back of the work. One to eight. I think the referee might have a chat about these meetings of the Brains Trust, though, England. Not in a rush to do anything. Oh, now Scotland turn it over. Strange game. Good effort. Lineup line out continues to struggle. Inside, Harrison inside. Wood. Inside. Up to the 22. MacArthur can pop this off the pitch if he wants. Inside the 22. Fielded by Linegar. Good chase. That's Henry Armstrong. On we're in number 23. Slick hands and off oh, Luani. He's been bumped off by Treacy, but Treacy's coughed it up. Into the last 20 minutes. Well, the knock on, but only a knock on, no more. Yeah, whipped out of the back. That was a lovely time pass. We're passing the ball and then getting hit. Is okay. that not a penalty to us? No, okay. One in 50, white. Okay, one in 50, white, please. Yeah, Mills is rich, sir. So Jamie Miller being replaced in the front row. Tyler of Fire. Coming on. This one, man. Yeah, man. Here we go, nice one, man. Push straight, okay? Straight. Plenty has been made of this. But just in case it hasn't been brought to your attention, Tyler Afaya. Son of rugby league great Martin Afaya. Set! And if you don't know who Martin Afaya is, YouTube him. Treat yourself. Absolutely astonishing finisher. The finest wingers to play either code. Advantage! Hate that girl number eight, wait! Well, Ollie Alport with the high tackle. Not attentioning! Scotland building up a bit of a head of steam here. Hate that girl. And Harrison Wood. Absolutely knackered. He has put everything in, but After not sitting like so many back rowers do, they just find ways to dig in. And interestingly, Hamish MacArthur opting for the sticks again. They obviously back their young scrum half to get the points. But this still keeps it at a two score game, even if it's successful. As much as anything, though, this is a mark of respect for England's defence. MacArthur, lovely nudge. He's up to six points. Scotland are up to six points. England still leading. Halfway point of the second half. England yet to add to their total. They've not really clicked. Nice clean strike of the ball, isn't it? You'd expect him to make it. You can't take anything for granted. England compete at the restart. That's come off a white hand. It's a scrum advantage to Scotland. Not sure they'll want the scrum the way the last one went. But they got folded up like an accordion. Advantage over top! Stop! Okay. And a good exit. A convoluted exit through okay. a few pair, pairs of hands. Oh no! It came from outside the 22, of course. Okay, advantage is over. Boy, no miss pass. No miss pass. It's interesting, isn't it? Oh, uh, sorry. How the referees judge knock-on advantage because Scotland okay, are theoretically that. playing on a knock-on advantage there. Pass, pass. 
Jimmy Staples on at hooker now, replacing George Knowles. Thankfully, a slightly different approach to facial hit. He's another one who's involved with the Harlequins Academy and previously mentioned Worthing as one of the options for lone players. It says home club, so I wonder if he'll find himself there at the start of next season. Josh Mann, Exeter Chiefs Academy loose head coming on there. We're in number 17, so a fresh front row with Sam Graham. Inside, inside, and wait, and wait. Okay. Time on. So Staples, England inside the 22, going okay. to the front. Dan Halken making the tackle. Friday sends the skipper Patrick Hogg into the contact zone. This is where England look dangerous. They've not really had a chance like this in the second half. Graham. Scotland scrambling, desperately trying to win the race around the corner. It's all one-on-one -on -one tackles at the moment, but the offload brilliant. Tyler Afire gets the try. And again, Scotland just unable to cope with England's tempo. This is so good on the short ball. Fraser Rawlins at right. Knows where the space is. Despite absorbing a big collision. Manages to turn his back and keep the hands free. Look at this. Into contact. Rolls in. He's got Jamie Thompson for company. Frees the hands. Gets it to Tyler. A fire. And the Wellington College flyer. Is in for the try. Linegar, two from two. Let's go. He's been right under the sticks. Five. What oh, a great strike. <laughs> Lovely kick, James Linegar. Metronomic. Off the tee. That's a really smart nudge, but this a really smart try as well. Yeah, Rawlins got himself in a spot of bother there, but maintained his composure. Tyler of fire. In he goes. Oh, great news. He does know more than one tune. Bind. Sure he's available for private bookings. Set. <laughs> no, please, please, please. No, please, please. No. Please. You. And you, a break foot, okay? And stability. Don't. Uh, don't, don't push. Don't push. So the break foot, the referee keeps asking for. That's... Down to the hooker. Okay, okay. Try and absorb okay, some of the weight. To play a safety measure. Uh, good setup, is that good setup? Huh? Good, good, good. Good, good. 58 minutes on the clock of the 70. Watch! Yes, money. Bind! Set. Scotland have swapped back and they've got Purvis back at eight now in the defensive scrums. 
Newton off his wing. And Scotland over the ball. Winning the penalty. And surely now, even though this is kickable for Hamish MacArthur at 21-6, they need to go for the corner. Still a three-score game. Oh, it's not a good kick by MacArthur. Bad to miss touch from there. Great with it. What a clearing run. Amazing how quickly momentum can shift in a game of rugby, isn't it? England were getting ready to defend their five, and now they're sweeping forward with Rawlings. A fire. A fire into the 22. Oh, the offload doesn't quite stick. Referee says backwards, so Connor Tracy can continue. And now a penalty advantage. This England at their very best. Sweeping from 22 to 22. Josh Mann still going. Campbell Ward just about drags him down. Friday has a snipe. Connor Tracy, a metre short. Well, they're queuing up to bully their way over here. Sam Graham can't get there. Josh Mann can't either. It's another advantage. Out of the back they go. Fraser Rawlins. Rawlins gets the try that his brilliant performance deserves. And that is exceptional from England. 22 to 22. Just over a minute ago, Scotland missed a kick to touch. Rafe with heat. It's almost like him beating a couple of defenders gave the entire team energy. And it ends up with Fraser Rawlins going round the defender, sliding in at the corner. And that is a try of the tournament contender. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he has had some game, Fraser Rawlins. Wow. As has James Linegar, but this the toughest kick yet. Drains one from the other touchline. Twenty. Oh, he's drained one from the other. You could half the width of the posts, and he would still kick conversion. Oh, my goodness. The purest right boot. That's going to be his last contribution to this game. Lovely ball across the face. Takes that two men. Puts Rawlins on the outside. Still had work to do. Scotland regather the restart. Ollie McKee. England's turn to defend. They've not had to do a huge amount to it, have they? Scotland haven't really been able to test them through the phases. That's three phases. Now four. Good bump. Advantage for the high tackle. England just flying out of the line. Still advantage. Number four. Get low, please. Elliot Williams with okay, the high tackle. Four. Get low. So our clock ticks towards 63 minutes. Could be a little bit to go on that, though. Wait, wait one minute. Henry Armstrong of Morrison Academy, Glasgow okay, Warriors. Oh, there's a playmaker. Eight. Wait, wait, okay. Solomon Shand. Hartbury College coming on it's for okay. Ollie Alport in the back row. Wait, wait. We'd rather be coming on if this line out was at the other end of the pitch. The substitution is okay. Okay. 
OK. So, please. Allez, the same line. Good line-up all for Scotland. John O'Balding's on. He's trying to wade his way through, isn't he? He's got hands on Ollie McKee. Ben Curtis, scrum half. No, hands on that from Balding. Excellent work at the defensive lineup from the England man. Uh, ben Curtis, Campbell War at first receiver. Can't gather it cleanly. Okay, okay. Oh, and England okay. causing absolute chaos, just bullying Scotland off that ball. Now maybe running it for their own 22, but knocking it on instead. Well, more relief in that roar from Jamie Thompson as much as anything. Okay. Please. I mean, fair play for England, just uh, trying to play from anywhere and everywhere. Here we go. That was a Come little on, bit of luck, wasn't it? Strong, Mario, a bit of judge to have gone forward off Campbell Wall. Yes, Manny, energy, let's go. Seconds. Yeah. All the way. All the way. A big chance for Scotland Catch. now. Options no. both ways. Five metre scrum under the posts. Bang! Mike Harrison would fancy a dart. You know, but the shrimp, you know. Okay. Ollie McKee is going to tap and go, send some big men forward and take Scotland to within a metre. Great opportunity now to get something on the board. Christian Lindsay. England are offside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, they're just counter rucking. Immense. Oh, Harrison Wood's gone. Oh, hasn't quite got over the line, though. Another advantage. Are they going to need it? Another knock on. And this will be a yellow card for England. Christian Lindsay can't ground it. Scotland aren't going to get any points, but England are going to lose a player. Right off, uh, offside, yellow card. Right. Elliot Williams get the card, Sean. And Oliver McKee is going to tap and go. Ollie Blythe Lafferty. He's got an amazing engine, isn't he? The tight head prop. Oh my goodness me, England's defence, absolutely superb. There has just been no way through for Scotland. First, first time ceiling, and not the is. Fill the field, fill the field. Fill up. And once again, it is a fruitless jaunt into the 22 for the Scotland boys. Elliot Williams takes a seat on the naughty chair. It's not very luxurious, is it? But then again, why should it be? Finally, England are pinned for taking so long over their lineouts. Chris Fennell. Ollie Blythe Lafferty is replaced. It would be Nicky Casson. It's not wrong, okay? Coming Quickly. on for him, I think. The Sterling County man, in fact, he's already on there. A spicy plum with 18 on his back. Crutch! Johnny Wyman. 
is on for England. Replacing Lucas Friday. Ben Curtis gets Scotland going. Decent carry now for Nicky Thompson. Said for school. England off their feet. Another penalty advantage in Scotland. Just cannot keep hold of the ball. So many drops, so many knock ons. Momentum killers. After not in the corner, okay? After. Last chance then for Scotland. <laughs> try and get a try in this game. We're ticking towards the 70th minute. Again, Sean O'Baldin being such a nuisance. Ben Curtis might have to play this. Oh, John O'Balding, has he got over that ball? That is absolutely astonishing work by John O'Balding. Proper line-out mechanics from the Gloucester man. That is Adam Beard style. Wizardry. Uh, the last uh, time, I think. Last time. Last time. I mean, okay. not just the ability to last, wade last his way through, play. but to get on that ball. Last play. And if he's got through illegally, all he has to do is get a hand on it. But once you've got a hand on it, you need the strength to keep it there. That is very, very impressive. Oh, yeah, okay. By the young lot from Razzy College. Come on. No, it's the same. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Hear some voices saying put it off, others. Want to keep playing. Okay. Well, is that going to find touch? Yes, it is. Victory for England. Scotland spirited in the second half, but couldn't get over the whitewash. Two from two, England. Took it to the wire with Wales, but were comfortable today. That man, Tyler Afire, got over the whitewash, as did Seb Kelly. He got things started. Finn Newton, Fraser Rawlings, all converted by James Linegar, who had the laser honed in today. That's exceptional from the team. England aggressive, organised, led by that man, Patrick Hogg. There were little glimmers for Scotland, but knock-ons and errors kept letting them down six points off the boot of Hamish MacArthur both teams going into the weekend with plenty to work on but the full-time score England two wins from two uh, they defeated from, uh, Scotland 28 number, points uh, to six I don't see uh... well done, Julio. <laughs>